Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Zayn, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be a building. Greens, Hermitcraft, a Season 6 base, which we can just see over there. And today, we are going to be continuing to work under the water. Um, and we're going to be building, hopefully, even the glass section. That's very exciting. And um, in the last episode, because we were working underwater then, a lot of you told me that... Uh, in the comments below that I needed to put night vision on and yeah that was silly of me but do not fear because I've got night vision on now so we can see very clearly and I've also got a button so we can get it from there and again construction Bob has been working on the hobbit hole and it really is starting to come into shape and looks like he's been working down here I'm not sure what this room is gonna be but looks very interesting and um, yeah, uh, so let's just add someone to the Hall of Fame. So just go in here and, well, Construction Bob looks like he's having a fun time there, doesn't he? Um, but today is actually going to be a double R. I'm going to be shouting out two people, uh, partly because I hit 1K subs and also partly because I just really want to shout out both of these people. So the first person is Aiden, who is uh, doing this in survival on episode 17 and he's gathering loads of materials and really enjoying the series thank you so much for building with me and also we have mark brooks who is helping their nieces build this in creative that up to episode 10 and finding it a really fun project so shout out to you mark brooks and also binomial and kitty cat glad to hear that you're enjoying the videos if you guys want to shout out, all you have to do is comment down below where you are in the series, what mode you're doing it on, and just tell me if you're enjoying it and everything like that. So you might get a shout out in the next episode. And one last thing, I know this has been a bit of a lengthy intro, but it's been a lot to say. Um, I am, I saw a few people asking for a Discord server, so I'm going to be starting up that today so if you want to just join the discord server and you can chat with me and you can kind of give me video ideas or anything like that so hope to see you there so without further ado uh, let's get into building green space so as you might be able to tell i've kind of started built kind of started getting the water out but i think the best way to do it if you're wondering is to kind of section bits off so like this and then kind of use a sponge and get rid of all the water and then you can break this bit and connect up to the other bit that you've already emptied but we won't do that today because that is not a fun thing to do in the episode but um we are going to be doing we need to do the inside of this because obviously we've done the outside bit but it doesn't quite look like this on the inside so we need to just make a few changes and actually you can connect up these so get rid of all the um, on the diagonal bits, get rid of all the cyan terracotta, and then we want to get this, and we just want to build it down, so it should be kind of doubled up there, just like this, and it should be exactly in line with this part of the, so the bit that we built here, and, um, the only difference is this bit, there's only one, so... Well, obviously, this bit's doubled up, but I mean, the underwater bit isn't doubled up, it's just diagonals, and that's how it should be. Right, so we want to just break away this cyan terracotta. I don't even remember why we placed it, I think that was just for um, scaffolding and stuff like that, and just to make sure we could place everything down. And trust me, it's going to look a lot more kind of sleek and clean once we do that, so that's good. And we just want to extend these down so it looks like this. That's looking very good. And then once we get to this bit, obviously there is the um, there's the cyan terracotta, and we can't break that because that would be in the way. So we just kind of want to place this, and there's actually going to be doubled up, so you actually won't be able to see this because there's going to be two blocks it's gonna look like that but it's gonna go all the way around and we will do that in a bit but you just don't have to worry about that being exposed that bit of cyan terracotta so obviously we don't need to do anything double up here because it's already in line but basically all you need to do is you need to make sure everything is in line and actually we want to extend this bit down as well 
sticking good. Uh, these bits won't really be exposed because we're going to be have water elevators, the big architect sign and stuff like that there. But um, that's all right. We can just so just take these, break them away and double everything up and make sure everything is kind of in line with um, the bit above it. So all you want to do is make that all the way around and you don't have to worry again about this bit being exposed. Just kind of build it so it's like this and that will be absolutely fine. So just do that and go all the way around doubling it up or not doubling up at the diagonals. And once you're done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Right, so there we go. That is looking very good. And so everything should, it should be completely continuous. So if you go along here, it should, the blocks just should go down the one, two, three, four, five, six that it needs to. And um, obviously including this top bit. So yeah, it should be, should we count just to check? I'll count down from the ice bit. From the ice bit, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks continuous there. And obviously, we didn't actually do anything to the diagonals because they were already in line. So there should kind of just be that was the wrong place to do. Why is there cyan terracotta there? Oh, because yeah. So once if you break through the diagonals, it should literally just be like this. So you can just so it's just one thick. That is absolutely perfect. And obviously. Uh, there's these this bit of cyan terracotta and we actually are going to want to place a bit of cyan terracotta like this going around on the t on the sea level but um that's actually only going to be half of the base it's a bit weird and not symmetrical but don't worry right so let's kind of build the finishing bit so here we want to go and place uh, a cyan terracotta then diagonally Sand terracotta, and you basically just want to go all the way around the circle, placing diagonal sand terracotta. Actually, I just realized something. You want to, before we do this, you want to find the front of the base. That's very lucky that I was at the front of the base. But the front of the base is the bit where the two ta diagonal towers are, and it kind of looks like this. And right, we want to go in, and because the this kind of layer of sand terracotta only goes around half the base for some reason, um so we want to go around that and just place it diagonal you don't you don't want to connect it up like this by the blocks you want to break away those blocks we've done it lots of times before so it's just kind of the diagonals touching that and whoops let's replace that so you want to just kind of go around placing diagonals and one 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 uh you don't connect them up so just go around the circle We'll probably just do this in the episode because it's not very hard. And once you get to this bit, you just kind of stop and let's do it on the other side. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oops, I did not place that. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, 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 one. And then, oh, oh, looks like there's a bit I forgot to do. Oopsie. Um, I'll just... Just quickly do that. There we go, that's looking better. And so we just want to finish off this by placing the last few diagonals here. And remember this only goes around half the base, so we do not do it on this side, just on the front bit. And by the way, for the record, it should be the side that this big tower is on that it's not got the diagonals. So it should kind of look like this. And now we want to go underwater and we're going to do a similar thing but we're actually going to, here we're going to have, it's going to be too high basically. We want to do the same thing except for these bits. So place the diagonals here, but we're going to want to connect these up once. We're actually going to want to connect them up twice. So you go along here and you go along here. So you should have two here. And then you want to go one more time and connect them up. So it's kind of like the bits. So it should... From this three bit, there should only be one exposed. So it should, every bit should be three and three. If you look three and three, it should kind of be like this. And, but the rest of it is just completely connected by diagonals. Like there's no block connection, only on the diagonals bit. So let's just go around 
doing this two blocks high and this as you can tell this makes it look a lot more kind of finished and better so there we go we just miss out this and we go one one two three four and then one two three and then once we're oh no we still got a bit more to go <laughs> one two and then we do this bit and so let's just first we'll just start off by doing it diagonals as normal and then we'll, we'll go along three and then we want to double it up and so we want to basically triple it up and that's essentially what we're trying to do so we should have two here and then we place one more and it should be again tripled up like this so you basically just want to go all the way around the base placing that and placing them diagonal so it should be in completely in line with this except for these bits and i've shown you how to do that so this is what it looks like if you didn't see that so should kind of have like this and so you just go all the way around placing it diagonals except for the diagonal bits and then once you're done you should have something that looks a little bit like this all right so i have built the bit of cyan terracotta going all the way around the diagonals and these bits and everything there is looking good so that means this is this kind of section of the base completely finished so now we're just going to do a kind of glass bit and then we'll be ready to do the bottom of the base so that's pretty exciting and we've also got quite a bit of time left luckily so we definitely will be able to start the glass section and um i guess we should just kind of get started so um it is going to be a total of seven blocks i mean i would say high but technically low because we're building it down and you might have to dig away some terrain which might be a bit annoying but unfortunately there isn't much you can do about it i reckon i'll have to yeah i'll, I'll have to destroy a little bit of this mountain and especially when we do the rings and stuff but nothing can do about that so i guess we should kind of just get started and you want to go one back from this bit of cyan terracotta so the glass should just be in line with a bit of white concrete there that we've just built and then there should be one block at the back of that so it's kind of it's actually kind of reflecting the other layers you know how we always build it one back we're kind of doing the same thing here but the opposite way around obviously so we go one and then we go two three four five six and then seven that's looking good and we are now getting a bit of depth in the base that's very good and then so it's pretty easy you just make it in line with the white concrete so and one back from the cyan terracotta so that will go down seven then one two we know that needs to go down seven one two one two and then here you might be kind of wondering what to do and actually we, we have to break this bit away because the in you want to take the middle block here and go down and you want to place you want to take this cyan terracotta go one back and place one two three four five six seven blocks down of cyan terracotta there so it sh it's not going to be in line with the white concrete it's but it's still going to be one back from the cyan terracotta so if you look at it from here it should be four three two two one cyan terracotta and then we want to go we actually place the diagonal bits so it goes one one and we just place it one back from this bit one 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 and then we kind of just do the same here so we take this block then we go down go one back and place it there so one two three four five six seven so hopefully that kind of makes sense i'll break away this so you can tell exactly where it actually is it just is in line with that so it's one forward from the actual white concrete unlike the other bits of glass but we'll replace that there and it's already beginning to look quite good i think so you just want to place diagonal and then one two and then oh, one two one two three one two three four and we won't worry about this bit for now just do this and see that's already a quarter of it done um let's just do think one more side just so you guys get just so i can be sure you guys get the gist one two three four one one two three one two 
one, two, one, two, and then we're at the bit. You'll kind of be able to tell because there's loads of random bits of cyan terracotta. So you want to take this, go down, and then we go one back, and then we actually want to take away this because it's, it's just one diagonal. Because you have the pattern of four, three, two, two, one, one, and then all the diagonals. So it should, so the, uh, this b bit of cyan terracotta should, it should kind of go diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. It's not like in line with anything. So diagonals, we just continue that di diagonals until we reach the next bit of cyan terracotta, which is going to go here, I think. Oh no, I actually, wait, no, is that right? No, it's, we need one more diagonal and then it goes here. So it's just in line with the middle block there and that can go down. And then we need one diagonal there and one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And that is looking good. So you just want to bring all this down by seven in total. So you just go, it's already got one block here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's really gonna bring the kind of depth of the base down a bit. So you just wanna do that and you wanna do it all the way around the base. And once you're done, you should have something that looks a little bit like. So that is the glass section done. And I think I'm gonna kind of just skim around to here. And I think that's gonna, finish us up for the episode because uh, we are unfortunately running out of time but um, this is what it should look like so you should have four here three two two one diagonal and then you should have one two oh kelp's kind of getting in the way it's quite annoying actually <laughs> right um so you should have one two three four five six seven diagonals of glass they look like that and then obviously this is the three bit so this this is got lots of Cyan terracotta. Then we have one, two, two, three, and four. But we did we didn't put any glass there for now. We'll do that. We'll do that in a different episode. But I think soon we are ready. I think maybe in the next episode we're ready to do the next glass section and almost begin working on like the floor and stuff like that. So that is very exciting. But. For now, we have unfortunately run out of time for the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching it. Remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the episode and turn notifications on so you do not miss an upload. From me, I upload these videos every Sunday. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.